First of all, for whom is this video not appropriate? Anyone who believes that the road to vibrant health is paved by drugs and Western medicine. This video is for everyone else, especially if you still experience symptoms from a long ago bout of SARS-CoV-2. All right, I want all you long COVID people to pay special attention to this video because I think it's important. Creatine. I carry it with me wherever I go. Actually, I don't. I just brought it for the video. If you've done any weight training in the last 30 years, you've heard of it. And maybe even used creatine. The most utilized and researched supplement for athletic performance, it's estimated that about 80% of the athletes at the 96 Summer Olympics in Atlanta were using it in their training. Now, I want to show you a shot of me a couple years back when I was hitting the gym three times a week and Wrong using picture, creatine. Wrong picture, Doc. Huh? That's the steroid guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, oops. This guy's actually using rhinoceros testosterone and polar bear growth hormone. So you're not going to get this big. But anyway, creatine is an important energy source for muscular contraction. It's used in the production of ATP. And that's the key. It's an energy source. Creatine in and of itself will not produce muscle gains. It makes us better achieving muscle contraction, which is the stimulus for muscular growth. Literally a thousand studies demonstrate that it's a safe and effective supplement to drive enhanced cellular energy production and muscular performance. Synthesized in the liver, stored mostly in skeletal muscle, but there's also a significant pool of creatine in the brain. Who knew? Meat and fish are our primary dietary sources. That said, let me share this exciting research out of Germany published September 2023 in the journal Food Science and Nutrition. It establishes creatine as an excellent treatment for, wait for it, post-COVID-19 fatigue syndrome, AKA long COVID. So the CDC says that 97% of Americans have or have had COVID antibodies in their blood. There are a few things certain in life, but one thing's about as close as you can get. You have been exposed. Let's get a visual on that. Okay, based on a lifetime of observation, Dr. J's relative likelihood index. Two things certain, death and taxes, 100% likelihood. And as you know, believe nothing from talking heads at big pharma, big government, and big media. 97% of us have COVID antibodies in our blood, and 270 million Americans have had at least one COVID shot. Have you had one? Uh, no. Coming in at 0%, my winning the Powerball jackpot or taking a COVID jab. Everything else falls in between. Maybe you got sick. Maybe really sick from SARS-CoV-2. Perhaps you still even suffer symptoms long after you recovered from the acute phase of the infection. If so, you are the proverbial COVID long hauler. And look, to be honest, long COVID is just the high price term for what we've known of for many years as post-viral fatigue syndrome. It's not an uncommon consequence of viral infections. One more thing quickly before we hit the study, sadly ignored by the powers that be for obvious reasons, the road as we know to vibrant optimal health and wellness is through good clean diet, exercise, fresh water, ample sleep, good clean fats, plenty of good protein, reduced carbohydrates, especially of the refined variety, sugars, high fructose corn syrup, of course, Gluten should be minimized to a large degree. I've done many videos on this, so I won't belabor the point. So today it's a small study on COVID long haulers. A six month placebo controlled trial on the effects of creatine monohydrate four grams a day on various outcomes, subjective and objective, as well as measured creatine levels in tissues. I'll link the study in the description. It's well designed. You can delve deeply into the methodology there if you like. So measurements were taken at baseline, three months and six months. Things like body pain, lung pain, difficulty breathing, headaches, concentration problems, uh, joint difficulties, chronic fatigue. And the results, six months, 
four grams a day supplementation of creatine monohydrate did boost multiple measures of performance. It significantly improved scores for several long COVID syndrome related symptoms. Loss of taste, loss of smell, and the symptoms I described above. And really importantly, I think increased brain uptake increase brain performance. In fact, a number of studies I read show creatine's potential for treatment in age-related cognitive decline. I like that. So it seems to me you could add this study to the previous thousand that support creatine as a healthful dietary supplement addition to anyone's routine. And holy mackerel, it seems a no-brainer for anyone suffering from post-COVID-19 fatigue syndrome, i.e. long COVID. At worst, it can't hurt, and maybe a huge help. So link in the description to this study and to one of my very favorite broad-spectrum nutritional support sources, Real Mushrooms. I use their stuff every day. So with that, please feel free to comment and subscribe. I'm out, Dr. J.